Now it's working. Okay. All right. I'm here with my buddy Ryan Treadwell, and this is the distillation of the mercury in progress. Uh, it's alternately flashing the setting temperature and the current temperature. Uh, this is the boiling flask. Uh, it's dual neck. Uh, it's wrapped in aluminum foil to prevent air currents from taking energy out of the out of the distillation. Um, thank you. Oh, that helps a lot. Uh, if you look closely, I don't know if it's going to come out in the video, but there's uh, there are small beads of mercury forming. At the it looks cloudy probably in, in the image you're seeing, but uh, those are very very small beads of mercury condensing on the on the flask. Those are a little bit clearer. Oh wow, man, it's moving. Yeah, you can see you can you can see the uh, the motion of the bubbling. Uh, it's it's real dirty. It's it's full of something that we think is lead. But um, all of the ground glass joints have been wrapped in Teflon tape uh, because I was going to use Vaseline at first, but the Teflon is uh, more heat resistant. Um, underneath uh, the interface between the hot plate and the boiling flask, it's wrapped up in foil. But there's it's uh, it's a uh, kind of an improvised sand bath. Uh, transfer more heat into the mercury. Um, uh, this is the thermometer adapter, uh, also made of Teflon. Thermometer goes to 400 Celsius. Uh, I don't know what it's reading right now, but the distillation hasn't gotten rolling to the point where it's actually transferring enough energy to make the reading valid. Uh, so all of the all of that readings, the air inside the flask. Um, as we look down the the condensing column, uh, can I have that light again, please? Thank you. Uh, you can see that the mercury is indeed starting to collect inside uh, as we continue down into the uh, angle adapter here. Um, it's starting to... Uh, it's on your side. I don't know if they can see it. There it is. Uh, on the right-hand side of the, uh, of the uh, tube, you can see uh, little droplets condensing. Uh, this entire atmosphere is full of mercury right now. Uh, nothing has actually dripped down into the flask yet. Uh, but because the, the atmosphere is full of mercury, this little polyvinyl tube here runs into this recovery flask, uh, which is full of just plain tap water. Uh, as, as, the, as the distillation apparatus heats up, you see those air bubbles. Um, when, this, when this whole system starts to cool down, it's going to go the other way, back into the flask. So below the flask, we have, a, we have a Pyrex bowl that's full of methanol, and when we get ready to remove it and take the heat away, uh, we're going to drop a bunch of dry ice into that. Uh, to uh, before we take the heat away, uh, the goal of which is to cool the mercury down, hopefully even freeze it, uh, and then allow it to solidify before we actually open the apparatus up to atmosphere. Um, move around here. Uh, this is the thank you. Uh, this is the flask of mercury that we still have to go through. Um, that's about 15 pounds of mercury in that flask. It's about 500 milliliters. Yeah, it's careful setting it down. <laughs> I'd have a mercury spill on tape, that would be fun. <laughs> um, uh, most of the other junk that's sitting around here is just Ryan and I killing time, waiting for this thing to get rolling. So, And now that it's rolling, we're taking video. Uh, come back later. This is the, uh, this is the chiller. Uh, I built this over the summer. Um, there, are, there are photographs and, and detailed descriptions on my blog. Get that out of the way. Uh, the uh, the black tube that's surrounding the central uh, aluminum coolant chamber is uh, just there to insulate it from air currents again, uh, because that bottom plate is very very hot. Uh, it's it's a little too uncomfortable to touch, but it still it still won't boil water. Um, uh, there's insulation packed between the tube and the, and the aluminum cylinder. Uh, one of the lines runs up here to the to the box that contains an aquarium pump. Uh, the box is watertight. Both the inlet and the outlet are below the water level, such that on the other side of this, we have the jacket. Even if the jacket is above the level of water in the pump box, uh, it won't overflow if you open the pump box to test the temperature or do whatever else. Uh, the only downside to this is right now it's a pain uh, to bleed all the air out. But the output from this runs back into the cylinder that has the, uh, the black electrical tape around it. So that's the input line to the cylinder. That's all I have to say about that. Cord. Okay. As you can see, all of the boiling side has been wrapped in aluminum in a couple layers. 
There's Ryan taking photographs. Uh, and right there, where's that flashlight? Mm -hmm. Thank you.